What's going on YouTube? What's up everybody that decided to click on the video? I'm about to talk about should you start on a 600cc and um, I actually did start on a 600cc as you can see this is a R6. Um, my first bike was actually a, uh, a K1 Gixxer um, 600 and it had a fuel line leak. I ended up selling it and getting this but I mean it did, I really can't recommend a bike on over online because I don't know your size and how tall you are and your weight. a good head on your shoulders and um, if you have a good head on your shoulders if you're if you're really able if you really know the power that you're getting into is all I'm gonna say like like for me example when I bought my k1 Gixxer that dude started it up on the back of the truck and I was like what the hell am I buying so I mean you can crash any motorcycle I mean you can crash a Grom but if you mess up on a 600 or a thousand or it's just it's not friendly it doesn't care if you mess up you weren't supposed to you know what I mean like you just have to have a good head on your shoulders be mature enough and respect the power that's all I got to say definitely respect the power but yeah man I feel like if you if you, whoa, if you know what you're getting into then you can definitely buy a 600 cc and learn a lot and ride the hell out of it as you can see I mean just have fun I just don't see uh, the reason of starting on a 1000cc. Definitely don't do that. That's that's just dumb, on, like realistically. That's just stupid. Just get on a 600, test the waters. good riding right there bro I promise you any bike you can make fun you don't have to get a 600 cc but I feel like you're gonna have the most fun I didn't I personally bought a 600 cc so I didn't feel as if I wanted more power too soon you know I didn't want to be on a r3 and then be ringing the hell out of it and get bored So I started in the mid-range, you know? There's a uh, stady up here. Let me calm down. Nothing's wrong with the way I ride so far. I mean, obviously the pros can still learn things. So I'm not saying that I'm very good or anything, but I don't think there's a reason. If you're a mature person and 
have a good head on your shoulders, I feel that you could start on a 600cc with no problem. Go buy you a R6 or a Jigsaw. I don't know about Cowies. I don't know too much about motorcycles. I just bought one. So, but yeah, for for my personal experience, I feel like yes, you can start on a 600 and and learn a lot and and even you'd even go down if you want like buy a supermoto or or grom or something just to have fun or beat up you know that you realize how fast these are once you buy it know that you you realize why they're on the track and why this truck and car behind me probably don't like that i'm riding it on the street you know it definitely makes sense once you get one but then again you gotta ride it, it's fun so they can kiss my ass but I definitely feel like if you have a good head on your shoulders you you got you know what you can control your wrist man and you can have a blast on this thing man I'm, I'm a beginner I've been riding for three four months and this is where I'm at on the 600 so I'm pretty happy with my progression from that uh, K1 Jixer to where I am now so I'm gonna just keep riding and uh, keep having fun keep making these videos um, if you do enjoy my six videos that I have just, why not subscribe like the video I mean why not I'm not really here to beg for likes I got 42 subscribers so I'm not really uh, expecting too much but it'd be nice to see who watch my videos and not but yeah if, if if you really feel that you'll grow out of the power of a 400 or a 300 or whatever you decide to get i definitely try to get a 600 people can start on thousands i mean you just gotta be have a good head on your shoulders and realize what you're getting into dude if you if, if you're being real with yourself you'll know th what the right thing to get is now if you lie to yourself you'll start on an s1000 if you if you go and buy a bmw for your first bike you're high i'm just now getting into the power band of it i'm just now exploring the real power it has i've been down low in the rpms under 600 or yeah under 6,000 rpm so i really haven't felt this thing rumble under me since today i just did it a couple times before i cut the camera on and it, it was fun it, it it definitely humbles you quick you get Like that's plenty of power. I'm up. At, I I just got to 60 that quick or 54 or whatever I saw. You know what I'm saying? Like it's ridiculous in a sense. So it's really up to you, man. If you feel like you can handle the 600, then go handle the 600, my man. I mean, it's really up to you. But yeah i'm gonna just ride around i'm gonna talk about whatever comes up to my mind and uh have a good time before i take this thing home um i decided to come ride after work so talk about starting on a 600 um i did stall a lot when i first started that that's a fact i did stall a lot but yeah bro it, it's just all vibes with this you know you, you hop on it you don't need you're not seeking you're not constantly like oh you got to ring it out no you, you're riding your bike it's it's fun um plenty of power sounds good um you can keep up with the 1000s if you're a good rider man you can keep up with anyone though so you can keep up on a 400 man if you have a if you got the skill set so yeah, dude, if you feel like you can hop on a 600 and go ride it, then that's definitely a good idea. You won't be needing more power anytime soon. If you're buying your first bike, I definitely wouldn't go buy a new one. I haven't dropped this yet, but um, like I said, yet. So I don't know how that works. I'm not feeling I'm going to drop it, but then again, who knows? So you might as well not buy a brand new shiny ten thousand dollar toy and not know what the hell you're doing on it spend three to four thousand on a nice solid bike get your gear uh, get your gear though if you're gonna start on a 600 you can't wear a hoodie and vans bro 
you'll see if you start if you get a 600 you'll see exactly what i'm talking about man if uh especially if you get a thousand bro it's i've never ridden in a thousand but i'm on this 600 and i don't have an i don't have any desire to really to ride a six uh a 1000 excuse me right now so i think i'm cooling with the power i got but yeah um my last vlog i went to my uh i went to my friend's house and he, he had his little graduation party it was lit we played some cornhole we got skunked um actually i think i lost i don't know I actually know the date of mine now. Um, it's January 14th, so I'm gonna have a little graduation party then. Kick it with my boys. Um, hopefully it's I, every nice day I get, I'm riding my bike, so. Every nice day I get, I'm gonna do this, so. It's just fun, man. Yeah, you can hop on a 600, but you also can hop on a Grom and get hit by a car, so. It depends on how mature you are with this wrist and how quick you are with them feet and with them brakes. You know what I'm saying? You just got to be smart, bro. You can definitely do it. I mean, there's there's nothing to it, bro. You got to shift the gears and be smart. Oh, shucks. I got to sit at this little red light. get a bike it really don't matter what you get you're gonna have fun man just join the bike bros bruh join the bike bros bruh let me reword that join the bike bros and you'll have a blast you'll even get to ride other people's bikes why not so what makes you think that you need an a thousand cc who told you that you needed a thousand cc to start on no one did so don't do it that's plenty if you especially if you don't know what the hell you're doing bro you better not just just calm your little ass down hop on a 400 or a or a 600 just bro i just wouldn't spend the money on a 400 and then Six months later well i mean six months later is not that bad if you just got the money like that but i'd rather just buy this bike and learn for six months not kill myself you know it's not that hard bro just respect the bike once you once you respect what you're on bro you'll be golden if you just hop on it and ring it out swim through traffic don't check your mirrors just ride like a jackass you're gonna die bro and i'm gonna be real with you you're gonna die like bro you can't you can't just expect life to be like nah you're good just just you're invincible you got nine lives just use all eight of them no bro you're gonna die you better calm your ass down use wrist control or throttle control and learn what a clutch is and you'll be golden just just relax on it you know bro don't think you're don't think you're sweet bro you already look cool that you, you're on the bike you, you already look cool don't try to be looking like rossi on the corners now if you have to lean the bike like lean the shit but you don't gotta look all sweet and shit if you're going 20 miles per hour bro just turn the bike but i just i wouldn't recommend starting on a 400 or a thousand because the 400 you're gonna be like all right bro that like this is cool like is this all motorcycling is not nah, bro no it's not not nah. And then the 1000 cc you're gonna be like all right dog i'm selling this bike tomorrow night um like you can't you can't touch the throttle without speeding how much more of a chance do you want to be able to crash 
and are you willing to learn on that machine and not be afraid because once you're afraid you're gonna drop the shit you're gonna fall if you're scared of it if you're scared of it you're just gonna drop the shit you're gonna hear it like you're gonna pop the clutch once and you're gonna literally shit yourself and you're gonna drop the bike it just how it goes bro so you got to just get what you can get and be happy with it dude like don't hop into something that you can't do bro some people shouldn't even ride a motorcycle and they're acting like yo should i get a 600 no dude you shouldn't get anything go get a go get a sedan dude go get a car it's up to you bro just just don't be don't be mad when you're like all right i want more power or all right i'm selling this fifteen thousand dollar bike i just bought Like you don't need more power, bro. If you don't have a motorcycle, why don't you? Why? What made you think, hey, nah, I don't want one, bro. Why? Do you not see how fun this shit is, dude? Like the dog even wants to ride. The dog wants to ride. I know, buddy, bro. Like they should make doggy. Nah, they shouldn't. Motorcycling is just so fun, bro. If you don't have a motorcycle, get one. What are you doing? trying to go though come on now it's hot out here i don't got the ac on you know 